What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is this cat eye smoky eye tutorial that I honestly just kind of winged it. I was like I need to film something today and I had no idea what to do so I sat down in front of my makeup and this is what I ended up with. So I really hope you guys like it and let's begin. Starting off with my foundation and applying this EX1 foundation all over my skin using my favorite kabuki brush by Sigma. For my concealer, I'm using the usual MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in shade NW20 and applying this under my eyes as well as all over my eyelids because this is going to play as my eye primer as well. Alright, next up you want to set all this hard work in place using either a translucent powder or some sort of a setting powder. This one is by Laura Mercier. Next, you want to highlight the high points of your cheeks as well as the center of your face. And today I'm using Girlactic's highlighter because this is a very soft and subtle highlighter with not like lots and lots of shimmer. So it's actually perfect for just giving your skin a nice glow. And speaking of giving my skin a nice glow, I'm going back to my usual Betty Luminizer and applying this on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. So I'm not necessarily contouring with this, I'm using this to really give my skin a nice glow and just a little bit of color. I will move on to a matte bronzer in a little bit to really contour my face and bring out my features. Alright, now on to a matte bronzer. This one's called Bahama Mama and the reason why you want to use a matte bronzer to really bring out your features and contour your face is because this is going to be more of a shadow and anytime you have lots of shimmers going on, it's only good to just give yourself a nice color and um, a little bit of a glow. And for my blush, I'm using this light pink color and applying it on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it up just a little bit towards the high points of my cheeks. Alright, I'm going to move on to my brows just to really shape it. I honestly need to use some more products to make my brows grow because they are so sparse. Using this powder by Sigma, I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas and make my brows just a little bit thicker. Um, and then I'm going to use this product right over here. I believe it's called Boy Girl or Girl Boy. Of course, I will have the name and the link in the description box. But basically, I'm using this to lighten my brows just a little bit. Alright, moving on to the eyes using this Pixi Mesmerizing Mineral Palette. Using this copper color first and applying it all over my eyelids. Next, I'm going to use this ivory color, which is the first color in the palette, and apply it on my brow bone. And for the inner corners of my eyes, I'm using this champagne color. Moving on to a different palette, this is by The Balm Cosmetics and I am applying this rich brown color on my crease and blending it really well. Next I'm grabbing this light sort of ivory color, it's got like a hint of yellow and I decided to go over that copper color that I just created. Like I said, I literally did not know what where I was going with this look, I was kind of just winging it so don't mind the layers and layers of shadow. Anyway, and then going back to that rich brown color and really intensifying the crease. Applying a black eyeliner on the inner rim of my eyes and this is the 24-7 Glide On Pencils by Urban Decay. This one's called Zero. They have so many different blacks. Um, I think this is a little bit softer compared to Perversion or Black Velvet. Once that's done, I'm moving on to a gel liner and this is by Sigma and using an angled brush and applying this really close to my lash line. Alright, so once you get to the end, you want to create a cat eye by applying a straight line and then connecting that line from like the bottom to the top. So it's pretty easy. Once you trace it, all you have to do is color it in and the cat eye is finished. You also want to connect the top liner to the bottom lash line. So basically starting from the outer corners, you want to bring this liner all the way to the inner corners and when you get to the inner corners, you can definitely extend it just a little bit to give it that dramatic effect. Here's where you want to smoke out this liner. So grab a black or brown eyeshadow. In this case, I mixed both colors together, so both black and brown. Starting from the outer corners, as you can see, I'm creating a cut crease by bringing the shadow to my crease. And then if you want to blend it out for more of a natural effect, you can do that, which is what I'm doing right now. But if you like a more cut crease effect, then just leave it as is. 
and you just want to intensify it to whatever level you like and be sure to blend 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 until all of the harsh edges are gone and intensifying this just a little bit more using just a black shadow. After that, applying several coats of mascara on both top and bottom lashes. And here's where I decided to get creative. So at first, I decided to do a double wing liner, but then when it was done, I kind of didn't like it, so I decided to just remove the bottom liner. But I just wanted to just quickly show you guys what it would look like if I had left it, because it actually doesn't look bad, it's just a little too dramatic for my taste. So what I did was, I grabbed a blue liner, and this is by Sigma, it's a beautiful color, and I applied this over the black. So I'm applying it on my bottom lash line, and then extending it out, so creating a double wing. And then I applied a white shadow in between the two lines to really bring them out and sort of make them stand out. And since I really, really like this color, I decided to apply it also on the inner rim of my eye because like I said, it's such a beautiful blue and also applied this on my top lash line. So once I finished with both eyes, I literally just felt like it was way too dramatic. So I removed the bottom liner and left it just like a little bit more on the natural side with just the one liner on top. But of course, I would really love to hear your thoughts on it. I mean, would you wear the double wing liner out? I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. But anyhow, I popped on these lashes by Urban Decay and now I am covering that glue with the same blue liner to make sure you know, all the white residue is gone from the glue. And then applying another layer of mascara to really intensify this look. And lastly, applying a little bit of shadow on my bottom lash line, um, again, to just like smoke it out a little bit. And after that, we are moving on to the lips. This is a Dose of Colors lipstick. It's such a beautiful color. It's like a coral nude color. And you can wear this just by itself if you like more of a matte finish. I mean, this is more of a creamy to matte finish, I would say. Um, it like still hydrates your lips, so it's not too dry. Uh, but what I did was I applied a clear gloss over it just to give it a little bit of shine. So yeah, this completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely think the single liner is a little bit more wearable, but I do think the double winged would have done just fine. But of course, I want to hear from you guys, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. So I just wanted to bring in a little bit more drama to this look by putting on these gorgeous, humongous earrings by Bubble Bar. I think they're super cute, um, and it kind of complements the look. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to subscribe for more of my videos, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.